Okay, in order to solve absolute value problems, you have to isolate the absolute value bars. So first I have to get rid of that multiplying by 3. So I have to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So that isolated my absolute value bars. You cannot solve a problem that has absolute value bars. So you have to write two equations. One equation is when what's in the bars is positive. It's like x plus 4 equals 5. The other one is when what's in the bars is negative. So you switch the signs of everything inside the bars. So I'm going to have a negative x minus 5. And then you just solve your two equations like you normally would. So subtract 5, subtract 5. x would equal negative 1. Or then I can add 5, add 5. Negative x is equal to 9. Divide each side by negative 1. And x equals negative 9. So technically this is an OR problem. If you just wanted to put a comma between your answers, that's fine also. So x is negative 1 and x is negative 9. So then if I go to graph this, these are just two points. So if x equals negative 1, I'd put a solid dot on negative 1. And if x is negative 9, I put a solid dot on negative 9.